Okay, welcome to another video, and I'm not going to call this an Orbiter 2010 video, but it's uh, it's related. You can see that I'm on the Orbiter forum website, and a guy by the name of CR1 posted this message where he basically said, you know, hey everybody, I made this little open source game, check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And this all is browser-based, so you don't have to download anything. I believe you do have to have a modern browser, you know, one of the later versions of Chrome or Firefox. It won't, I don't think it works if you're using an older version of IE or something like that. Somebody mentioned something about that in the forum post. A little bit of information here you can read about what to do, but let's just go ahead and jump right in. We're going to hit go. And as you can see, we start off, we're kind of in orbit, at least we're in space, but you can see we're going to crash if we don't do something. So let's left click there a little bit and that applies a little bit of engine keeps our orbit going this green line appears to be where we came from and this dashed line appears to be where we're yet to go and you can see that it seems to pretty well follow the rules of orbital mechanics as i understand them getting to apoapsis so in theory if we apply some main engine we should be able to raise the other side of our orbit that does seem to be happening and as you can see there's like something resembling a landing pad so if we touch down on that landing pad we uh and you can actually see as we're coming around here interesting we're being captured by the sun it looks like we need to do a bit of an outward burn to bring up our orbit so that we don't fry so we're going to kind of do a slingshot here and see if we can head back home but what i started to say there was there's landing pads on the different celestial bodies and there's only a couple of them at this point there's only the earth and there's also a moon let's go ahead and extend our orbit so we can try to oh there we go now we're coming back to earth and we're going to do a bit of a retro burning here and try to touch down on that pad and it doesn't have to be perfect and if you bounce around a little bit it's really forgiving you can just kind of scoot yourself over but once you touch a pad you can see it restores all of your fuel and I believe the bottom one is actually like a health meter. So you can actually crash down to the point where your vessel becomes inoperable. Uh, this guy over here, I don't really know what that is. I think it's supposed to be like uh, an automated, an, or rather an automated pilot of some kind, you know, but he just crashes very quickly and doesn't do anything. Let's go ahead and apply some main engine here. Get back up into space. And now that we're at apoapsis, well, I meant to fire the engines the other way. I'm going to try to raise the other side of our orbit a little bit. Maybe do a bit of a inward there. Oh, that's a bit too much. One thing I've noticed is that the uh, it's very sensitive. And it looks like we're actually going to go past the Earth here, pick up a little bit of gravity, and kind of sling out beyond. And I do know that there's a moon somewhere over here. So maybe we'll get to the moon just by pure accident. Very easy to play. Kind of fun. Yeah, there's the moon. And you can see as we're kind of approaching the moon, it's having a gravitational effect on our vessel. And we're making it to the moon, and we're going to do a braking burn here. That was a little early. <laughs> we'll get back over to this landing pad. And get all fueled back up and then see if we can head home. Uh, before I leave here though, I'll mention that if you use the mouse wheel to scroll out, you'll see kind of a extended view of what we have, and it's not very big. I, I, as far as I know, it's only the sun, the earth, and the moon at this point. Let's go ahead and see if we can head back home, but let's take a tour of the sun. So let's blast off in this direction. Maybe put in a little bit more. And there's no kind of time warp or anything, but it's not really necessary for this little game. And I'm going to burn kind of in this direction a little bit. I think we're getting, yeah, well, we got to be careful that we don't actually go into the sun because we will die. Actually, I'll go ahead and let that happen. I won't go all the way into the sun, but I'll get into the sort of the sun's atmosphere, and you'll see that what happens is we have like this health bar down here. Yeah, you can just see it. It's like we're incinerating. Now as we're coming back to Earth, we'll get ready to do a breaking burn. And we'll see if we can touch down on the pad and heal ourselves back up. And we're basically home. We bounced about a thousand miles up, but we're okay. We're home and we're on the pad, so we're getting our health and our fuel back. 
pretty fun little game. Uh, some of the some of the mouse clicks are a little bit, you know, it's it's hard to have fine control over anything. Somebody posted in the forum that it would be cool if you could like hold down control and then use your different buttons so that you could have finer control. I think that's a pretty good idea. But I don't really expect that this guy's going to do anything more with this. I think it was just a fun little coding thing that he did over a weekend or something, which is pretty impressive, really. I mean, all things considered, that you could develop something like this in just a span of uh, 48 hours, I think is what the front page says. But uh, yeah, thought I would take a look at that. And I'll post the links and everything in the description down below so you guys can check it out if you like. And uh, that's going to be it. I will see you in the next video.